Um, another recent purchase for you. Um, I have a, a Russian PKC 2003 Pripyat radio meter. Uh, it's a beta and gamma uh, Geiger counter dissimilar. Uh, manufactured just after the Chernobyl disaster for uh, members of the public to take their own uh, background radiation readings and also food contamination. Uh, so inside this quite nice little storage container, uh, we have instruction manual in Russian. Uh, very, very, very comprehensive instruction manual. It's got wiring diagrams, everything in here, which is really interesting. And if I remember rightly, it has the date of its last inspection, which I think was 1991. Um, I think it's at the back. Yeah, it was on the 12th of the 3rd, 1991. So uh, inside the box, you get the meter itself, and then you get these little plastic trays. Now, I, at the start, I was wondering what these were. And then obviously the food contamination part hit me and I realized that this is obviously for putting your food into. Uh, you can scoop or you can, you can put, if you, don't, if you don't trust what it is, you can scoop it up and hold it. And then the, uh, where the Geiger Muller tubes are, obviously they correspond with the, the little trough there and they can sit on top and you can take your contamination readings in from your food, which is quite clever. So I'll move the box out of the way and we'll get onto the unit itself. Unit itself is really, really nice, really nice construction. Um, you know, decent enough plastics, not very squeaky, just a little bit on the, obviously the, the openings. Uh, on the bottom, we have on off switch. We have a internal and external voltage connector so that you can uh, connect an external battery if you need to. And obviously we have a nine volt battery in there. On the top, we have a voltage regulation switch that switches between the internal and external battery. And then we have an audio on off. On the front, nice large LCD display. Uh, we have a button here for switching between Millironcan and Microsievert. Uh, you have to do that with the unit off. So if you're in Microsievert and you want to go to Millironcan, turn it off, switch it, turn it back on again. We have a button for switching between uh, Gamma and Beta. We have a button here, once you switch it to Beta, you can do uh, Beta Flux for your surface contamination and also for a timed uh, reading. Um, we have a really quick one here of between 10 and 20 seconds and then we have a, a slower one for getting a more precise reading of 100 to 200 seconds and then we have your various scales here for obviously when you switch between uh, Millironcan and Microsievert the button here is not to 20 uh, Microsievert and not to 200 Microsievert and at the moment we have it in not to 20. So if I turn the unit on um, it starts to count then instantaneously. Uh, at the moment, obviously I have the uh, gamma shield on. So if I take that off, um, you can see it's got twin SBM20 tubes in there. Very, very sensitive tubes. I'll do a close up on the screen of that now so you can see them. Um, I have noticed sometimes it can go quite high. Um, it, after about maybe 10, 15 minutes, it does seem to get down pretty precise. And if I bring in my therapy and I'll remove the, uh, the gamma shield in it as well, um, and I'll put them side by side. Uh, you can see that the therapy I found, therapy usually sits between 13 and 16 here at home uh, with, with no you know, radioactive sources near it. And this does you know, fluctuate from between, you know, as you saw there, six up to 20. Um, you know, the longer you leave it, uh, the, you know, it does then get quite, uh, you know, Pretty reliable to this. The therapy I found is the most reliable uh, for very very quick checks, and I have this on all the time. And this is you know this is taking readings all the time. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll very quickly bring in this little thoria thoria mantle here. Um, gamma is quite low on this. Uh, this is quite a you know not a large beta emitter, but it does give out some, and it'll give you an idea of uh, of how uh, quickly this is getting readings and also how sensitive it is. Uh, so this will go up between 10 and 11 uh, microsieverts and uh, it gets there reasonably quickly. Obviously, the, how, you know, if, it's, if I was putting something in this that was 100 microsieverts, it would get to 100 very, very quickly. So if I get that right up against, you can hear a reasonably nice little uh, electronic piezo buzzer noise as well. This is quite nice. It doesn't get annoying. I find that the one on the therapy can get quite annoying. So you see we're up there. This might, you know, stops at about 10, 10 and 11. And then with the therapy, 
and I put the alarm quite high on this so it's not going to go off the alarms up at nine. So again, this, uh, this is about half the reading that that shows. Um, that's more than likely just the tube that's in here. Obviously it has a single tube. This has a double tube. They're more sensitive. The SBM20 is known for being very, very sensitive. Um, so more than likely between the two, I would, you know, I would take a measurement between the two of these uh, to get a final reading. So I would go about eight uh, microsieverts between the two of these. Uh, but again, you know, you can never trust something 100%. Obviously the more expensive a Geiger counter is, a uh, dose rate meter, uh, you're, uh, you're getting, you know, more accurate readings. But I just wanted to show these two, um, well, this one, very, very quickly. Uh, it's a really nice little meter. Um, I really, I'm glad I got it. Uh, I got it, it's, I found it totally by accident on eBay. Um, it was listed as a Giger counter, G-I-G-E-R. And uh, the seller had, nobody had been watching it. And I made him an offer and I got it for really, really cheap. Uh, you can usually pick these up for about 150 euro um, from eBay or Etsy and uh, yeah I got a really really good price on this way 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 less than I would pay for a brand new one on, e on Etsy or, or eBay so I was very very happy about that works really well as well I find sometimes if you really really blast it um, with uh, you know really high uh, source it, it can mess about the electronics a little bit so um, that's why I'm, I want to put something quite low with it but yeah nice instrument um, if you want one you'll pick one up no problem at all but just keep an eye on prices uh, you don't want to be paying you know too much for them but uh, we'll be back next time I've got uh, a DP5V uh, Russian DP5V which I'm going to hopefully show soon um, I've just bought uh, a DP5B um, and I've also bought another meter a very very interesting meter which um, I'm not going to talk about yet until it comes but uh, it has a bit of a surprise with it um, so I can't wait to get that so uh, again thanks for watching see you next time bye bye